Hey everyone, Lance here. We spoke about gap fills in a prior video a few weeks ago, and to be honest with you, I'm shocked it happened this quick in Roku, but literally a handful of days after earnings, a $20 decline. Here we are, we fill the gap and above in Roku on earnings. Let's look um, at a prior history of gap fills in Roku that you can use for other stocks you're watching and see if they have that history of filling the gap, especially in a quick amount of time, and find some actionable trade opportunities. So here in Roku, let's really go from August all the way to the current date, which is about November uh, 14th, with the stock right about 144.20 here. So we have, and this is why I love trading earnings too, a gap fill on earnings. Okay, so we'll draw a line right here around 105. Stock ran up to 176, and what did it, what did it do? It filled that gap to where it prior was. So price will go back to where there is demand. Demand showed up right around 105, where we had the breakout. Here we have some supply. So we'll call 176 and then 150 some supply zones. So we'll put supply zones there. So what happened on Roku? Roku traded not back down to 105 after an earnings miss, but to 120. 120 was the $20 market makers expected move on earnings. So again, these market makers, they win a high majority of the time, somewhere around the 97 percentile. They won on Roku. The stock fell 20 bucks right to their move. And here it is, right back up to 140, actually 144 here, and above. It filled the gap on earnings on one, two, three, four, five days. So when a stock fills the gap, what you don't want to do is go and chase it, thinking, oh, Roku's going to go back up. What normally will happen, the stock will tend to fizzle out. It will fade out and consolidate out there. So if you're looking at a stock, maybe a Amazon or a Google, Google's another one, for example, that filled the gap, that had earnings and you think it's oversold or maybe it popped on earnings and it's back into supply, so it's overbought, look for those gap fills. And once the stock fills the gap, close your position, take profits, move on for the next trade because you'll usually have that box of consolidation after filling the gap. Let me know what stocks you're watching. Disney, by the way, congrats, Longs. What a fantastic breakout. And uh, that Disney Plus, wow, it is phenomenal out there. Have a great day, everyone.